Tomorrow, Monday, September 26th, NASA's DART double asteroid redirection test will finally reach its destination. About 7 million miles, or 11.5 million kilometers away from Earth, is the asteroid Didymos. Didymos is about a half mile, or 780 meters, in diameter. Orbiting Didymos is a small asteroid moon called Dimorphos, only 525 feet, or 160 meters in diameter. NASA's DART mission launched back in November 2021 on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It took the spacecraft nine months to reach its target. The DART impactor will crash into Dimorphos at high velocity tomorrow, after which NASA will measure the effect that the impact had on Dimorphos' orbit around Didymos. It's important to note that we haven't actually visually resolved these two asteroids as separate bodies. They're too small and too far away to see clearly, kind of like uh, looking at binary star systems that are far away. In fact, the first time we see Dimorphos at all will be just a short time before the impact, as we receive images back from the spacecraft. But by carefully measuring the light reflected by the double asteroid system as Dimorphos passes in front of and behind Didymos, we can precisely measure the period of Dimorphos's orbit and thereby determine its mass. Uh, same techniques that we use for uh, detecting a lot of exoplanets, the, the, uh, the dip in the brightness as, as objects pass in front of and behind each other. Still, we don't yet know the shape or composition of Dimorphos. Is it a loose pile of rubble like the asteroid Bennu, or is it a solid hunk of rock? Regardless of the composition, the impact is expected to affect its orbit by at least 1%. Uh, it's also important to note that this test will pose no danger to the Earth. Didymos is much more massive than little Dimorphos. The double asteroid system's orbit around the Sun will not be affected at all. Only the orbit of the smaller asteroid around its parent will be affected by the impact. Uh, now, coverage of the DART impact will begin on September 26th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 2130 UTC, with live views from the spacecraft. The main broadcast begins 30 minutes later. Then at 8 p.m. Eastern, midnight UTC, is the post-impact press briefing. I'll provide a live stream of the whole thing for you here on Raw Space.